guys, how you doing? My name is Lena. Welcome back to another video. So today I have a very quick unhaul for you. I don't usually do unhauls because I tend to just give away my books and such, but I just have accumulated a kind of sufficiently <laughs> a sufficient a amount of books to show you that I'm, I'm just giving away. Like some of them I just don't like anymore. Some of them I haven't even read, but I don't think I will. So let's just get started. So the first one here hurts a bit, so I think I might just give it to my sister because I can <laughs> I can bring it back in case I wanted it. But I don't think I will. I was a little bit just thinking about reading it, but I just don't think so. This is The Stars Are Legion by Cameron Harley. I love The Light Brigade, one of my favorite sci-fi books. Amazing! So I was highly anticipating the Stars of Legion. I just, I just, I didn't understand a thing. I didn't like it. <laughs> so when I read it, I told you in my wrap up that I was just thinking about reading it because I was also in a really weird mood at the time. So maybe that time might join in like, like my enjoyment a little bit. But now that I think about it, I'm just like, nah. There's so many like sci-fi books out there that I want to read, so sadly, Star Wars Legion is leaving. Though the Light Brigade is staying because it's amazing, and I don't have the mic on. And you would say, "Oh my God!" But are you going to repeat that? No, <laughs> because I still need to record another three videos. So we're moving on. So this one I thought about on holding like several times, but because I kind of enjoyed it and the book is pretty beautiful i was just like okay i'll read the sequel and then i'll think about it i haven't read the sequel yet it came out this year but this is the light at the bottom of the world by london shaw basically the world sank and now people are living underwater which is cool don't get me wrong there's basically a mario kart race here to win a submarine which is cool i mean I enjoyed this book, but I gave it like three stars. So uh, sadly, it's in the bottom of the shelf. Like I have uh, the hardcovers down there, and I haven't thought about this book a single time since I read it. So that's saying something. It's not a bad book, but it just is no longer resonating with me. So I'm giving it away, probably to one of my friends. But yeah, if it sounds interesting, I will totally read it. Like the the main like concept of the book i really enjoyed but yeah there's also some install up there that i really didn't like oh this is going to be so painful <laughs> but i'm getting rid of um flame caster and shadow caster <laughs> i love the uh first quartet like um the seven realms yeah this is the shadow realms and the other one is the seven realms yeah i love that first quartet like i love it so much i binge read every single one of those books in one day like i was so invested the exile queen is my favorite one i love it but i have read uh these first two installments in the next quartet and i just don't enjoy them as much so i decided not to keep holding on to them like i have uh, been trying to read that caster for like almost a year or even two if i remember correctly maybe a year and a half and i haven't yet because there's nothing drawing me to this series basically i just much prefer the first series like so much more over these ones but yeah definitely not bad books at all but i just don't like the characters in this one as much as i like the characters in the previous trilogy trilogy no quartet <laughs> I'm I'm so not used to say quartet. Everything is a trilogy or a series. But yeah, I much prefer the other one, so I'm just getting rid of these two. Even though these covers are gorgeous and I just really like them. But yeah, not feeling it, so someone else might enjoy them. Talking about dumping series, uh I'm also getting rid of the Lightbringer series. I have read till uh this no till this one, till the broken eye. And honestly, there hasn't been like a single time this year that I've thought about continuing this series. Not even one, like I'm so over it. <laughs> like I understand it's uh, a high fantasy series and the magic system is great because it's about colors, which is super cool and super or original. Really like it, but I just don't like one of the main characters. Like 
Whew. I tried, I tried it, I read the first two books, but I just cannot continue, which is sad because the main plotline I really enjoyed, but there's so much filler in here that I just don't like. So sadly, I've made my mind finally <laughs> after a year and a half also. I'm not going to continue. Maybe, maybe one day, who knows? Maybe one day I will continue, but I just don't need to have them physically. I got rid of book one um, because I had another edition uh, last year. So yeah, this will have to go. I might read The Broken Eye sometime, but I will probably read it as an audiobook because I did um, listen to the first two books and that was the way to go for me. So if someday I'm just like, yeah, I want to go back to that world and that magic system, I will just listen to them, but I just don't need them taking space on my shelf because I have a ton of books coming. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Mm, I'm still thinking about it, but this is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Legrand? Claire Legrand. I did really like this book, Fury Born, but it's been so much time since I've read it that I just don't feel like continuing with this series, even though I did really like it. And the dual POV was great. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, honestly, but it's been so long. I just don't feel like going back into this world, honestly. And if I do, I will just do the same thing with uh, as with Lightbringer. I will just audiobook it and that will be it. Because if I have the first one, I feel compelled to buy the second one before reading it. But if I don't own any of them, I will just listen to them on script or on Audible and I will be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm saving myself some money, even though that book is gorgeous. Like honestly, those covers are fucking amazing. But yeah, I'll probably listen to it, uh, maybe even this month, who knows? But yeah, I'm just getting rid of my physical copy. This one is just because I just, didn't like it as much. This is Sons of Insurrection by JC Can. I don't usually uh, get rid of self-published books. I just... Mm, I'm so blind about this one and I'm so sad about it because I was expecting to love it, honestly. But it felt so young. Like, my main complaint about this one is that the one of the main characters felt so young. Like, not even like YA, even younger. And she is obsessed with this prince and she is unable to do anything besides doing something that will just like impress this guy and it's just like yeah i get it i get it but still it was ah uh, pain in the ass sometimes and she has a very important pov and that drove me insane <laughs> like it made me so bad because i'm just like i just don't like you there were so many other interesting povs but that one is really important so i just don't think i can read Another book with her, honestly. I would try uh, the other series by this author because he writes very like well, like he writes very well. So I will try that. Also the world is really compelling and the magic system is related to music, which is super cool. But uh, with the girl, I just couldn't. Then I have here Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Ronhorse. Ah, uh, I really like this first book. Like there was, there was a scene with the makeup with uh no how is it called oh my god uh the things that i hate a makeover no makeup makeover <laughs> and i was going through a phase where i just read like a bunch of makeovers i was just like oh my god i fucking hate this but the book in itself is good it's just like i'm really picky with my urban fantasy lately i don't know why but uh i will probably just listen to the second one on audio like i really like the world and the mythology but the main character just felt really bland to me like your very average tough girl urban fantasy protagonist so um, i'm okay with her like just didn't really enjoy it but uh, this book has been staying on my shelf for a long time and i just haven't really thought about it so i'm getting rid of it but if you're looking for an urban fantasy this one is really good so i will still recommend this one honestly it's just that the main character does not click with me but the mythology fucking great honestly now i want to read book two fuck then this one i read uh last month the bosch by neil asher i hated this book i gave it two stars i never give books one or two stars like it's so hard for me to give those ratings and i still didn't like it uh this was really weird shit 
and I like weird shit. It's just like it didn't work for me <laughs> at all. I just didn't enjoy it. There was a birth scene so fucking weird at the beginning, and uh, rape being the main plot point for the story. Like, no, not for me. I'm so sorry, but it has to go, even though it's gorgeous. <laughs> Then I have here The Silent Patient by Alex Michalides. I read this, I finally found it. <laughs> uh, I read this a couple of months ago and it's a thriller book about a woman that uh, was accused of killing her husband and hasn't said a word since that. I saw the just coming so early on. <laughs> so it didn't impress me at all. It's just like, it's really underwhelming for me. So I just don't feel like having this copy on my shelves, taking off space more i have some other fillers that i enjoy more and it has like zero um readability for me so it's going away and the last one that i have here i haven't even read but i just don't think i'm going to ever read it this is burn by patrick ness it's about a kind of talking dragon i just don't feel like ever getting into this book it's apparently a um, kind of a more humorous book I just don't feel like it. I must. I might storage this uh, on my dad house, my dad's house, and see if I actually feel like reading it sometime soon. If not, I will send it to my sister. But yeah, just not for me, sadly. So yeah, those are all the books that I'm getting rid of. I'm not missing anything, right? A little bit of mixed opinions here. Have you read any of these books? Do you like them? Uh, if you do, or if you hate them just like like i did <laughs> please just tell me down in the comments below but as always i will see you in the next one bye